My crisis scenario today was a hypoxia due to right mainstem intubation. I came in, the patient was normal, nothing was wrong, but we went to a Trendelenburg position and they started to have high peak expiratory pressures and hypoxia. And so I had to troubleshoot, figure out where the tube was and that it was too far down. And I also was working through a couple different trial diagnosis like bronchospasm, so giving albuterol and propofol and getting the patient deeper to try to overcome some of those things. Anesthesia Crisis Resource Management is a combination of technical skills and non-technical skills that the students immerse themselves into. So everything that's happening in this laboratory environment allows the students the experiential learning and it also allows them to interact with the non-technical aspects that we have embedded actors, the scenario unfolding, true equipment that they would be using in the OR, and so it makes for a really rich experience we watch through the one-way mirror and we have headphones so we can hear what's going on in the operating room and we can see most of it. What I watch for and the other faculty are, number one, the medical technical skills, how the student handles the problem. And we watch for communication skills. Does the student bring the pretend surgeon into the problem, communicate with the surgeon or not? Does the student ask the circulating nurse to help? Does the student call for extra anesthesia help from outside the operating room to help solve the problem? Specific scenarios that students may encounter in advanced simulation are on a spectrum. Simple airway management, treating a blood pressure, to more complex scenarios such as malignant hyperthermia, and we want every student to experience these more complex scenarios because they may not see it in clinical. I play the role of an embedded actor, and that is someone that is in the, involved in the crisis, helping the students to understand that we're suspending disbelief that this is a, a real situation that you will encounter in your career, that we're, they can't really help the students. They can kind of make things a little bit more confusing or more realistic. Just see how the student manages that. Part of anesthesia crisis resource management is having an interactive environment. We really want them to believe they're in an operating room. And so the embedded actors provide that non-technical piece of communication and interacting in a team environment that's so important to make this whole scenario believable and to produce the visceral spots that we want them to have to ensure that their learning is very rich. TCU has a really great reputation, a really high pass rate, and I had a couple of colleagues as well who had gone to TCU from my unit before, so they really expressed that they felt like they got a lot of support from all of their professors and the staff here at the School of Nurse Anesthesia, and that sort of supportive environment was something that I knew was going to be really important as I embark on this journey. They weren't so hyper-focused on grades and numbers and results and treated their students as people, but were still able to achieve those high pass rates. And also some unique aspects of this program that other programs may or may not have was a lot of simulation hours like the high fidelity simulation and uh, the cadaver lab was a big draw for me as well. I had a patient who everything clinically was great and about an hour and a half after the surgery occurred I received a call that my patient was not responsive. In my mind I already started as I'm walking towards my patient's room thinking through, because I had had the training in advanced simulation, what things could have gone wrong. And so applying the critical knowledge that we have about labor and delivery, which is a very specialized role which we all receive training in, and then applying that to deducing what could possibly be wrong for my patient, I think made the difference between life and death for her. TCU's approach to advanced simulation is extremely unique from other university settings because we intersect students, local CRNAs, and our own nurse anesthesia faculty together for a brief period of time where we run six scenarios. So the student's not just learning from the faculty, they're learning from the embedded experience, they're learning from the local CRNAs that come back to campus, and we're all sit together in the debrief and we share experiences. That's what makes TCU's School of Nurse Anesthesia number seven in the country.